So the game I'm playing today is called Tiny Lands. This is a spot the difference game where you have two different versions of the same diorama and you just have to spot all the differences in the second version of the diorama. And that's the entire game. <laughs> Of course, it is a bit more involved than just that, and I do have a habit of oversimplifying things in these videos. So, this is a game that I found recently on Steam. It hasn't been out for that long, it only came out like, a few weeks ago. This game has been receiving a fair amount of attention recently. It hasn't been like, blowing up on Steam or anything, but it already has about 200 user reviewers. The majority of them are pretty positive. It was developed by an indie studio called Hyper 3, and it was published by Maple Whispering. The closest analog to this game that I can think of is probably Hidden Folks. Hidden Folks was a game that I covered on my channel quite some time ago. It was kind of like an I Spy slash Where's Waldo type game, where you were trying to find a specific set of objects in each individual level, which was usually a lot easier said than done because the levels were ginormous and they were densely populated with different objects and people as well, some of whom were actively wandering around the map. Tiny Lands is not exactly like that. This is more of a spot the difference game where you're just shown like two different versions of the same scene. You have to figure out where all the differences are in the other version of the scene, usually the one on the right. So it's a lot more similar to some of those picture books that you may have grown up with as a kid where, you know, you have one scene where you're shown a bunch of objects and then you have an alternate version of that same scene but some of the objects have been moved around or maybe they're a different color and you have to just spot all the differences. Tiny Lands is basically like that but in video game form. And this kind of game is definitely what I need right now because some of the other recordings that I've been doing recently have been just failing entirely. And not only that, but I am a little bit stressed right now because this is actually my second attempt at recording this video because, unfortunately, the first time I played Tiny Lands, my laptop overheated while I was recording, I wasn't able to stop the recording in time, and the footage I recorded of this earlier got completely corrupted. So I am a little bit on edge right now, not going to lie, but I do not give up that easily. I still want to show you guys this friggin' game because it's still pretty cool. Not exactly the most exciting game in the entire world because it basically involves you clicking on stuff and that's pretty much it, but it's still a fairly interesting game and I do want to show it off to you guys. So with that being said, let's just go right into the game. Let's not waste any time at all. Although I do want to mention though that there is a uh, kind of like a night mode in this game that you can enable at any time but that doesn't really mean all too much because the majority of these scenes take place at different times of day. So this is the map selection screen right here, and these are all the levels that I've already completed, but for the sake of this video, I am actually gonna go back to the first level right here and show you guys what exactly this game is all about. Thankfully, you can revisit levels that you've already completed. So the objective here is to find all of the differences. So if you want to know what the camera controls are, you can use the A key to move to the left, D key to move to the right, W key to zoom in, S key to zoom out. And those are all of the controls. Unfortunately, you can't move the camera up and down, which is a little unfortunate. It does kind of make the whole process of moving the camera around a, a little tedious, not gonna lie. I mean, you can also, uh, oh, I actually didn't know about this. You can right click and drag to, uh, move the camera around too, okay. So I guess there is like an alternative method for moving the camera uh, moving the camera around faster, jeez. Yeah, so what you're trying to do here is that you're just trying to spot all the differences in these two different versions of the same scene right here. So you'll notice that there's an arrow pointing to the rock, because as you can see, the rock is a different color in the second scene. It's gray right here in the first scene, but in the second scene, it's more of a brownish color. So we click on that, and there we go. One difference found already. This bird is also a different color. There we go, two differences. This uh, flower on the lily pad is a different color as well. Actually, I think it's a different size. And yeah, the entire point of this game is to just, uh, oh wait, that's not what I was supposed to click on. Yeah, there we go, this log is just straight up buried into the ground. So yeah, the entire point of this game is to just find all the differences in each individual level. I am extremely disappointed that I lost the initial footage I did of this game. I really wish that hadn't have happened, but you know what? It's totally fine, okay? We, we, we can get through this together, okay? We'll, we'll push past this. 
It doesn't even matter. Okay, it does actually take me to the next level right here. Okay, so I'm probably gonna breeze past a lot of these, uh, a, a lot of these, like, starting dioramas right here. Okay, so this boat right here, it's in a different position altogether. And so is this, uh, whatever the heck this is, some sort of package right here. Yeah, I do like the, um, the attention to detail that they put in all of the dioramas, though. They are fairly well detailed. I mean, you have this, like, uh, I don't know, this scene with, like, these, these Native American tribesmen, I guess? Also, this fish is in a different location. And this lily pad is also a different size. Yeah, so they really didn't skimp out on the details here. I love how intricately designed everything is. The dioramas really do feel like they are alive, despite the fact that they are essentially frozen in time because they don't actually animate at all. Yeah, there's basically no animations whatsoever. There's just, like, models, pretty much. I also got an achievement called Sharp Eye. Yeah, also, uh, my internet is not working right now, so I have to play in offline mode, so I am just, like, completely pissed at the world. This sword on the cabin right here is just completely falling down. This fish is also a different color. This broom is falling off the rock. I mean, there is the possibility that I may have forgotten where some of the hidden objects are in these scenes. There's, there's always the possibility of that, because, I mean, I don't have the best, uh short-term memory in the world, although that stump is a completely different size. I know that for a fact. I remember that. Also, this pigeon was not here before. There you go. Yeah, so there's this woman who's just, like, cooking fish on the campfire right there, and, I mean, there's no differences with her whatsoever, so that's just it. Just, just move on from that. So, yeah, just trying to find all the differences in these different scenes. This banner is in a completely different location. Uh, this potion right over here, yeah, it's blue in one scene, but green in the other, so we click on that as well. Yeah, so we have the, we kind of have, like, the horse bringing the potions to somewhere, with, uh, the knights right here guarding him. Uh, this guy's sword on his back is a different color. Again, I really love the attention to detail here. They did not get lazy with these details at all. Also, this, uh, yeah, this rock right here is in a completely different location, I just noticed. And this crate is also oriented differently. There we go. Yeah, so, I, I mean, I really don't know what the point of having nighttime mode even is, because, I mean, this scene is already taking place at night. I don't know, maybe it's just for the title screen, I have no idea. Got this nice little scene right here. Looks like we're in autumn now. We have orange and yellow leaves on the trees, we have uh, red leaves on the trees in the background as well. Yeah, giant purple mushrooms. Also, there's a stick uh, po pointing out of this tree for some reason, or just, like, stuck in this tree. So this spider is in a different location altogether. Yeah, got uh, got another, like, Native American woman right here. I can't tell if it's a woman or not. She's just petting, like, either a dog or a fox. You got a deer and her young. I don't think there's any differences with them at all, though. There is a difference with this log right here, because it's in a different location. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really know what else to say about this, honestly. Yeah, it's just, this egg is a different size. Also, the maple leaf right here, it's a different color. Yeah, yellow instead of red. Yeah, red maple leaf. Got some Canadian representation in here. Very nice. I like it. I don't know if Hyper 3 are actually based in Canada, though. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the whole game. You're just trying to find differences in the, the other diorama, pretty much, like the one on the right. Admittedly, I was kind of worried as to how exactly I would go about commentating this video, because, I mean... It's not the most exciting game in the world, you're just mostly clicking on random objects, pretty much. Anything that seems even remotely out of place, you just click on it. Like this butterfly right here. It's in a different spot. It's not in the same spot in both scenes. I think it's a little bit lower in the right scene. Yeah, I wasn't really sure how exactly I was gonna go about recording this, because, I mean, it's really not the most exciting game in the world, but I mean... It's not that much different from some of the other stuff that I've covered on my channel before, because again, I did play Hidden Folks a few years ago, which is pretty much almost exactly like this. And there was another game that I covered a little while back as well, called Vignettes. And Vignettes was also this, like, interesting little diorama game where you had all these different objects, and if you viewed those objects at the correct angle, they would actually morph into different objects. And the whole goal of that game was to just try and discover all of the objects that were hidden in the game. It does kind of play like a puzzle game, now that I think about it, like Tiny Lands does, and so does Vignettes and Hidden Folks. That shield is a different size. Uh, this bucket's also a different size, too. There's nothing weird going on with this horse, I don't think. Uh, this drum right here is a different size. This vase is in a different position, because it seems to be, uh... 
yeah, it's, it's tucked further into the back of this cabin in the first image. And uh, this banner is also in a different spot as well. Indeed. I mean, this game is genuinely challenging when you don't, uh, when you don't actually know or you're not actually familiar with any of the, the levels at all. Because I was having a fairly difficult time trying to find the differences in all of these different dioramas off screen when I was playing this. Like, I genuinely struggled. I had, like, several instances where it felt like my brain was just, like, farting over and over and it was not pleasant, but at the same time, Whenever I would finally, you know, come across an object that I know for a fact was not supposed to be there, it was it was almost like a eureka moment, really. As a matter of fact, I, I, I really wish you guys could have seen the original footage that I recorded of this game, because I made quite possibly the most random noise that I've ever made in a video when I discovered that one of the banners in the, uh, one of the previous levels with the knights and the horse when I noticed that one of the banners in the front was out of place, I just made like the weirdest noise I've ever made in my entire life. And I, I wish you guys could have seen that, but unfortunately, footage got corrupted. I couldn't import it into Vegas. I actually tried and it gave me an error message. And I couldn't play it in Windows Media Player either, which sucks. Sh I, I wish I was a lot quicker to hit that stop recording button, but whatever, man. It is what it is. So... This scene, this is actually the level right here that I was last on, uh, before my laptop overheated and, like, ruined my whole day, pretty much. Yeah, so you have this scene where you have two fishermen on a boat in the middle of a swamp. You have a bunch of lily pads here. I think one of these lily pads is a different size. Uh, I don't know which one it is, though. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, I wasn't able to beat this level, actually. I haven't actually beaten this level yet, so some of these... Some of the solutions for this one I don't think I've actually discovered, except for that one. That's a different color. Yeah, that flower on the lily pad is a different color. I think the size... Oh yeah, the size of this one all the way in the back over here. It's it's different. And other than that, I think we're completely caught up now, guys. I'm actually back at the point in my previous recording where uh, I, I was able to get to before. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna stop the recording quickly, just in case something does screw up now. Just give me a moment. Alright, the footage has been saved, so I know for a fact it's not gonna get corrupted now. Very nice. Okay, wish I could have done that earlier, but... Alright, so this is basically the blind part of the video now, because I haven't seen anything else in the game beyond this point, so... This is the point I was able to work my way up to before. Now, everything you're gonna see from this point onwards is just gonna be completely blind, which means, uh... Yeah, another, like, 20 minutes of confusion, basically. Oh, wait! This is oriented differently. It's, like, rotated. Ah, okay. It's not, uh, it's not like a different size, but it is like a different... It's it's almost rotated like 90 degrees, okay. Kind of wondering if one of the fish might be a different color, perhaps. Trying to inspect all these lily pads as well, because there's like so many objects here that we could potentially, uh... Oh, wait. Yeah, this other lily pad's a different color. Yeah, so many objects that we could potentially click on here. It's like, it can be very difficult to pinpoint, uh, you know... Some of the objects that are- that are different. But anyway, yeah, so I don't know what this level is. I have not seen this level at all before, so this is gonna be, uh... This is an absolute surprise to me. What's going on here? Okay, RV, we're- we're- we're on a camping trip? Okay. Just, uh, frying some steak on the barbecue? Okay, I see that- wait, that's oriented differently. Okay. That's rotated a little differently. Oh, you're making burgers here, I see. Oh, okay, is there anything weird about the burgers? Is, is, is there, like, a burger with a different color of cheese, perhaps? No? I mean, I haven't come across a level yet that has, like, any differences with the people themselves. That fire hydrant is knocked over, though. That's definitely not supposed to be that way. Who's the person just sunbathing right here? Is there anything weird about them at all? What about their umbrella? No? Absolutely nothing? What about these bicycles? Oh, this one is different. Oriented differently. Okay. Slightly different orientation. Oh god, there's a bear in the back of this RV. Uh-oh. I mean, is there, anything, is there anything weird about you at all? No? Yeah, go, going for the trash, I see. What about the RV itself? I don't think that bird has any differences on it. Okay. Uh, oh wait, there's there's more birds on this little, like, like sign over here. They do not appear to be different at all, though. No, it doesn't seem like there's anything weird about that. I see a basketball, but that also looks exactly the same. Oh, this health kit. Yeah, this med- this medical kit over here, though. Yeah, it's just positioned differently. 
I mean, it does kind of seem like a lot of the different objects that are, like, you know, changed in the second diorama, it seems like their orientation is just, is just slightly different. But that seems to be, like, the only difference most of the time. Like, some objects will either have different colors, or they'll be aligned differently, like, they'll be knocked over, or sometimes they'll be, like, rotated 90 degrees, or sometimes they're a different size. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that maybe in the later levels there'll be, like, you know, much crazier differences, like maybe you have objects that are just upside down. I don't know, I guess they are trying to make the differences as subtle as possible, so I can't blame the developers for that, like they need to try and make it challenging somehow. If all the differences were just painstakingly obvious and just like out in the open, then the game would not be challenging and it wouldn't be fun to play as a result, so I understand it. I do feel like most of the game's difficulty comes from your ability to perceive like, small differences in the environments of this game, though. I mean, that that's kind of how I feel about Spot the Difference games in general. Like, most of the difficulty comes from your ability to look at things in the environment and realize when some of these things are wrong or out of place. Like, you need to have a sharp eye for this kind of stuff, basically. And I am actually kind of struggling right now because I have no idea where the last difference is. Is there something weird about this cyan? Is there something weird about this bicycle? This one right here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering how I'm playing this game through Steam, despite the fact that I have no internet right now, I am just playing this through offline mode. And I'm probably not gonna be able to save my achievements because of it. Because I did get an achievement earlier called Sharp Eye, which I'm probably not gonna be able to keep because I... I am not running on any internet connection right now. Hopefully I'll be able to get that fixed before I upload this video. Because, I mean, if I, could, if I don't have internet, I literally cannot upload this freaking video, so you guys won't be able to watch this. So, god man, I really needed to just play a game like this today because I am just, I'm almost at my limit right now. Okay, there is one last difference here, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to pinpoint it. Is there something going on with this umbrella here? What about your flip-flops? There's something weird going on with the flip-flops. They look exactly the same, so that can't be it. Oh, there's got... Hang on a second. Is there something going on with the wheels on this RV? I wonder. What about this handle? No? Is there, is there like a headlight that's out of place, perhaps? Or what about this surfboard on top? I don't think there's anything weird going on with the bird. There's nothing weird going on with this stake over here, either, so... That can't be it. Oh my god, I see it now. I see it now. The colors on, on the umbrella are rearranged. There was something weird about this umbrella. I knew it. I freaking knew it. God, see, it's like, it's subtle differences like that. That's, that's so... That's really cool, man. This is, this is a very well-designed game. Like, really, it is. Okay. I legit didn't know that, because that's, that's the thing. That's what I love about this game. Some of the differences are so subtle that if you're not keeping a sharp eye out for them, they will go right past you. They'll go right over your head. Okay, more Native American tribesmen? Okay, well, there's totems here. Okay, there's probably gonna be something weird with the totems. Probably. Some differences here and there, most likely. I'm just looking over to make sure that I didn't, like, accidentally mute my microphone either, but I don't believe I did. God, I'm like, I'm like so on edge now that I've lost all of that other footage I recorded earlier, but whatever, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, there is a difference with the totem. Rearranged differently. Okay, so there is actually a difference with the person this time, because this this guy's not standing in the same place. He's standing in front of the torch in the second scene, right? What about these huts? Is there anything different with the huts at all? Uh, oh, something different with the wings here. This wing. Oh god, are the stripes- are the stripes on the huts gonna be different as well? Right now, they don't seem to be. Oh, this one is a different size, though. This little block on the right. Wait, what about those- are those tomatoes over there? Is there something weird about the tomatoes? Or are those strawberries? Or no, those are apples. Okay, well, are there, is there something weird about the apples? It doesn't look like it. No. The apples seem to be, like, normal and not weird. Normal and not weird, that's one way to describe it. God, I have such a massive vocabulary, like, it's it's unbelievable. I know words, guys. I have very great words. Okay, anyway. The axe does not look out of place over there, so I'm not gonna bother clicking on it. I think there's an achievement you can get for like, looking at all of the objects, or being able to find all of the objects without rotating the camera, or clicking on the wrong object. And I think there's also an achievement you can collect for staying on the same level for more than 15 minutes, so... 
The, the game also awards you for just being an absolute idiot as well. Okay, let's see if there's anything weird about this totem on, on the right right here. The one with the blue wings. Is there anything weird about you? You, you just seem to be normal. You seem to be entirely normal, actually. Is there something strange going on with the huts? Am I just overlooking something? I mean, it doesn't it doesn't look like the huts are hiding anything. They they both seem to be the same size. They all appear to be the same size in both images or both environments. There doesn't seem to be anything weird going on with that bow and arrow over there. I love the ambience in the background as well. Like you can if you listen closely, you can hear like the birds chirping in the background. You also have this nice piano playing in the background too. I mean, this kind of music has kind of become, like, a, a, a hallmark of these kinds of, like, relaxing puzzle games, but still, doesn't make it any less beautiful. Is there something weird going on with this rock over here, perhaps? Perhaps? No? Oh, wait, I see it, I see it. There's actually two differences with this totem on... Yeah, like, th this totem right here. One of the blocks was a different color. Literally noticed that just right now. Okay, so fun fact, I did actually get the, uh, the Are You Asleep achievement, which you can only collect for, uh, yeah, for spending more than 15 minutes on one level. Yeah, that really stumped me because it was like, I, I couldn't tell what I was missing. Yeah, there was, there was another weird thing going on with one of the totems. God, I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see, like, most of the parts of this video where I'm just getting absolutely stumped. Because I'm gonna be cutting out most of it, but man, dude, this is like, yeah, these, they're so subtle that if you're not, if you're not looking, like, everywhere, then, yeah, you're just, you're not gonna find anything. Okay, this looks a little weird right here. Yeah, this butterfly right here is not as luminescent as it is in the left scene. Okay, you got another deer with glowing antlers, there's glowing butterflies, a lot of glowy things, a lot of bioluminescence going on here in this scene. Alright, well, there, that's already one, it's already one difference that I found. Yeah, okay, this flower, this flower is also a different size. I wonder if these mushrooms might be a different size and or a different color. Doesn't look like there's anything weird going on with the deer itself. Okay, yeah, this mushroom's a different color, though. And this mushroom is a bit lower on the rock. Yeah, placed a little bit lower on the rock in the second scene than in the first. Okay, a little bit of an elevation difference. Okay, so then what's the last one? Usually the last one is always the hardest to find, except in this case it actually wasn't because I think it's this, isn't it? Oh wait, no, I already found- I already found that- that flower. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, because if it- if it turned gold and it starts glowing, then that means you already found it. Oops. Sorry about that, that was- that was my mistake. Just forgetting about basic game mechanics again. Oh my god, dude, I am still so on edge right now because I'm, I'm like, so worried that my laptop's gonna end up overheating again and I'm gonna, like, lose all this footage. Before I discovered that final, like, missing clue in, uh, the last level, I was able to stop the recording so that it would just save immediately and it wouldn't get corrupted, so thankfully that footage won't get lost. Notice that there's these little spores that are- that are moving around as well. I don't believe I need to click on any of those, though. I don't think they're hiding any secrets. Oh no, this lily pad's in a different position. Inspector! Inspector Gadget. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's it. Oh, that is it for, I, I guess, that world? Okay, got 50- 50 stars in total. Alright. So, now what? Where, where exactly can I go? Okay, what is this night mode, by the way? Oh my goodness, this actually looks a lot nicer. This is also appropriate, too, because I am recording this at night, but... What exactly is this? Okay, so this is like the first world. So then we move on to the next one? Oh, we could have unlocked this when we got 25 stars. Okay. So do we- I, I mean, do we keep our stars? Oh, we don't keep our stars. Okay, so they're almost like... They're almost like a currency. Okay, that's interesting. We got this- these beach levels, I guess? Okay. I'll check them out. I'll check them out for a little- a little while longer here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, like, you know, complete every single one of them, though, but we'll- we'll see. Alright, I guess we got beach scenes now. Alright, that starfish is a different color. I already noticed that, like, right off the bat. There's a treasure chest right here. Looks like- oh, who's- what is this guy doing? What's this guy doing over here on- on the raft? Is he, like, a stowaway? Or is he- or is he like- is he like trapped on this island? I mean, he found the treasure, though. 
Now he just has to try and find some way to escape, which, I mean, that's probably what the raft is useful for. Okay, this shovel right here is in a different location. Oh, what about this shark over here, though? You don't appear to be any different. So, oh, well, these, these, like, this, this coral does. Or no, that's not coral, but it's like, whatever you call these, these look like little, little tubes. Whatever, I think this barrel right here is a different size. Indeed it is. Okay, what about the treasure chest itself? Like, what about the contents of the chest? Does that look any different? Doesn't look like it. Is there anything going on with the seagulls, I wonder? They don't appear to have any differences. No, they just look all the same. How boring is that? Oh, I noticed something. There was a fish that was a different color. All right. Well, that's the first level down. Okay, Wh what do we have next? Send me to the next scene immediately. Yeah, so I guess these are like beach scenes. Okay, well then, I'll try to finish all of the beach scenes and then after that we'll end the video. I don't know, I was kind of thinking about ending the video after I finished that, uh, that last level in the first world, but... No, we'll, we'll, we'll try to beat these first. Okay, this fish is a different color. Oh, and that seagull's clearly dive-bombing towards the fish. Yep, this flag on the sandcastle that this little girl is, is building right here, that's also a different color. Life raft is a lot larger. This bucket right here is in a different location. Okay, this is a bit of an easier one this time, not gonna lie. I don't think there's anything weird going on with the surfboards, though. Oh, something weird going on with that umbrella. Yeah, it's ro it rotated 90 degrees again. It's pointing to the east this time instead of the west. Okay, that one was not bad at all. Okay, what what is this one then? Oh my god, there's life rafts everywhere now. Oh, we're on like a... Oh, this is a massive boat. Okay. Got your entire family here, I guess. Okay, I already noticed the life raft over here is a different color. Yeah, just going out for a little fun in the sun, I guess. Uh, oh, this is- this sail is a different color as well. God, there's so many things here that are just, like, different colors. Again, I understand that these differences need to be made subtle. Okay, this window's also a different size. L let me- let me zoom in here for a minute. Oh, is this a pizza? They have a pizza here, too? And yeah, it doesn't look like the pizza is any different. No, it looks the exact same in both scenes. Okay, another sunbather over here. Anything strange going on with these sails? These sails right here. No? This surfboard on the side of this boat right here is a different color. This guy right here looks like he's in the process of falling off of his surfboard. I'm, I'm trying to look to see if there's any differences with the people themselves again. And it doesn't seem to me like there is. So then what is the last thing I should be looking for here? And try and see. Oh, that ladder. I didn't notice this ladder here before, but the ladder is in a different location. Alright. These ones are not so bad, actually. I guess because there's not that many objects, like, uh, obscuring different parts of the- of the vignette, so... It's a- it's a lot easier to see. Okay, I can already tell this surfboard's a different color, my god. I mean, again, some of these are very obvious, like, at- 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 at first glance, like, when you just take one look at the diorama, they become obvious almost immediately, but... Some other- some- some other differences, you really need to, like, look a lot more closely at in order to find them. Again, if you don't have a keen eye for these kinds of things, then it can be very difficult. Okay, that's in, that's in a different place. Oh, there's a bunch of starfish here. Okay, one of them is definitely a different color. Doesn't seem to be anything strange going on with the flag or the barrel. Uh, oh, the seagull though. Okay, I was, I was hoping for something weird to go on with the seagulls. This one's bigger than the others. Okay, I, I swear to God, if it's gonna pull something on me with the umbrellas again, please. I don't think there's anything strange going on with the umbrellas. They all look the same. Okay. Good. Surfboard looks the exact same color. Again, there's no difference with the flag whatsoever, so we're just gonna ignore that for now. Let me try looking at more of the buckets over here, perhaps. No, these don't seem to be in a different location. Okay, let me let me inspect the place. Like, very closely. Nobody's in a different pose. Nothing looks a different color or misplaced. Okay, this last one might be a little difficult to spot then in that case. So I don't actually I don't actually see anything else that looks completely out of place here. I'm going to assume probably it's one of the fish. Is it the fish again? That that that's that's in a, like a different place. Wait a second. Oh no, that's that's an object that I already saw. Never mind. I thought the shovel might have might have switched locations or something. No, it's in the same place. Oh, I see. This blanket is a different color. It's pink instead of blue. There we go. See, I again I didn't notice that because I wasn't paying attention hard enough. You gotta have good eyes. You gotta you gotta you gotta have like good uh 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 I don't know, you have to have like 20-20 vision basically. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. Lighthouse. 
I also like how there's there's almost like shooting stars in the background. That looks really cool. Um, okay, this flag is a different color. I already see that. Uh, this anchor is also oriented differently. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this bucket is a different color. Okay, th these ones are a little bit easy right now, but hang on. Let's inspect the lighthouse. Okay, this ladder looks like it's in the same place, though, so don't don't worry about that. Yeah, we don't care about that at all. Okay, this seagull, this seagull is different because it's flying a bit more straight in the second image. Okay, what what is that thing at the top of the at the top of the lighthouse? Either way, an, 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 another bucket. Well, it doesn't look it doesn't look any different. I'm trying to inspect the lighthouse itself, and so far it doesn't seem like there's any differences with the lighthouse because that. That ladder is in the exact same location in both scenes. Maybe the windows, perhaps? No? Nothing weird going on with the windows at all. And not this boat either. This boat is also not, uh, not different. Okay, let me, let me, let me try zooming in a little bit, because there's also a broom and an umbrella. They're in the same place. Life raft's in the same place. Let's inspect the entrance. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything different with the entrance either. So maybe the last difference could possibly be in the water, perhaps? Yeah, I highly doubt there's gonna be anything different with the... with the light beam itself. Oh yeah, there is something different in the water. That coral is a different color, right? So that's it for the lighthouse, then. What else do we have here? What else, like, what do we have next? I'm liking these nighttime scenes. Okay, I guess we're done with the nighttime scenes. Okay, wow, this is a very small vignette right here. Okay, well, now this is starting to remind me of another video game, Raft. Okay, well, just watch out for the shark. The shark has no differences whatsoever, but that rock definitely does. Oh, is he, is this guy, like, hunt, hunting the shark? He has a spear in his hand. Oh, there's two sharks. Uh-oh. Okay, well, at least they got something to defend themselves with. Oh my god, no, there's three sharks. Okay, this this shark is different though. It's 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 bigger in the second one. And this fish is also a different color. This water bottle is oriented differently. And the flip-flops are oriented differently. Alright. Yeah, those ones were a lot easier to find due to the fact that there was like yeah, there there wasn't a lot of space in that one. That was like a much smaller diorama. Oh, this one's also a smaller one. This is a whale. Just uh oh blowing out some fish, I see. Okay. Alright, well that is typical whale behavior. There we go. Just, you know, exploding blowhole. Already found something weird with the seagull. Uh, probably some, some different colored fish if I had to guess. Don't really see any right now. Oh no, there is a different colored fish right here on, on the side of his, on the side of his face. Right there. Oh, and there's another different colored fish to the right side of him too. Okay, there's another seagull all the way in the back that also has a, a size discrepancy. Is there something different with his tail fin, I wonder? Doesn't look like it? Oh, this fish is oriented differently. Okay, how, how many times have I said that so far? Oriented. How many times have I said that word in this video? My goodness. It's okay, we're getting close to the end here, I think. Or, like, the end of this, you know. The end of this world. Okay, so this ship right here is getting attacked by uh, the Kraken, I believe. Indeed. The Kraken has indeed been released. This guy's treasure is, is just getting stolen. Okay, this, this tentacle right here is in a different spot. As is this, what looks like a crossbow. Okay. Probably you is to, to kill the Kraken. Okay, this barrel's a different size as well. God, there's like thunder in the background too and like lightning flashes. Again, they really didn't skimp out on the details here. This is this is really nice, man. I love the way this looks. Oh, this yeah, this golden cup that's falling out of the treasure chest, that's a different size. Okay, right now I'm eyeing a lot of these barrels because I'm just wondering if maybe there's another barrel that has like a a, a different size here. I think there's only one tentacle in this scene that is positioned differently. Kind of wondering. Okay, let me let me try zooming in on this this treasure chest here. Is there anything anything different? No, doesn't look like it. What what about the stuff that's falling out of this chest right here? Okay, this other chest looks exactly the same. Maybe the last difference is a bit more subtle. Maybe one of the suction cups on these tentacles is like placed differently, or maybe there's one that's missing. Let me look quickly. Oh yeah. There is, there is a difference on the suction cup. This one's, this one's larger. There we are. All right, all the differences on the Kraken have been spotted. So I guess we defeated the Kraken, technically? I, I don't even freaking know. Okay, so we got whales, more whales. Okay, well, if there aren't any differences on the whales themselves, then I will be thoroughly confused. Okay, this fish is larger. I already see that. Is there any difference with the seaweed at all, perhaps? Maybe the seaweed's also a different size. 
Oh, I see. The little fin on, on this guy's head is, uh, it's, it's smaller in the first scene. Well, that's what I was expecting. I was expecting there to be a difference with the, with the whales, considering how many there are. The starfish look completely normal. So does most of this coral. Okay, this one's definitely a lot trickier, because I am having a bit of a hard time pinpointing the exact differences here. Except for this one, because this fish is a different color. This guy's tail fin is pointing downwards. I see. Okay, I found the last one, another another fin that was completely out of place. Okay, that's it for that one. It So it seems like all of these levels, or all these worlds have like 10 levels each. Okay, so there is, there is actually another one here. I'm not sure how many of them I've completed already, but oh my god, there's a lot of objects here though. Okay, I already see one difference, the sword. Oh my goodness, okay, yeah, there's there's another, okay, this this clownfish right here is a completely different size. Got a lot of jellyfish here too, pufferfish. I think we got some clams here as well, another treasure chest. Uh, my, did I already point out the treasure chest? I don't even, I don't even know at this point. I'm gonna assume there's probably something off about the jellyfish. One of them is probably, probably not, okay, well actually this anchor once again is like much larger in the second scene. There must be something out of place with these jellyfish. There's, there's gotta be. Let me go and inspect them quickly. Like, is it possible that some jellyfish here have like different, different amounts of stingers, perhaps? No, it, it looks like they're actually all the same, surprisingly. Oh, got some sea turtles here as well. They don't seem to have any differences either, though. Okay, there is definitely something off about this sea turtle over here, though. It's a completely different size. Yeah, I'm surprised. I thought there would be, like, some very subtle differences in the jellyfish here, but they, they all just look the same. They look the same in each in each diorama here. What about that pearl right there? Is there anything strange about that pearl? No, the pearl looks the exact same size. All right, moving on from that then. Okay, there's there's definitely something weird about this pearl though, and the clam itself, yeah, different color. It, it looks a lot more white than the other one. Oh, and that's it actually. That That's all of the, uh, that's all the beach levels, I guess. All right, well, in that case, what other worlds are there that we can, that we can go and find? So that's two worlds. How many of them are there in total? Oh, there's a third world. Oh, it is like a Halloween world right here. Okay. Fourth world, like a Japan world. Fifth world. Oh, winter world. Oh, and that's everything, actually. Okay, so there's only five worlds in total. So we've already beaten about 40% of the game then. So if there's five worlds and each of them have 10 levels, so there's 50 levels. Okay, well, I guess I'll unlock this one next with the amount of stars that I have. But I am not going to complete this level, though. I think we are going to, uh, or I'm not going to beat that world. I think we are just going to stop for now. Uh, is there anything else that I could possibly unlock here? No, all the other ones require 50. Okay. Right, so in that case, we're gonna go back to the main menu now. And just, I guess for a change of scenery, night mode. Very nice. Okay, that looks a lot nicer on the eyes anyway. Right, so that's where I'm gonna end the video for now, guys. That is Tiny Lands. I showed off the first two worlds in the game, and apparently there's five in total, so we already beat like 40% of the game here. It's a neat little game. I love the attention to detail that they put in all of the environments. It seems like the game can definitely get complicated in the later levels, because there were so many objects on the screen that... Yeah, you really need to, you need to inspect the environment very closely, otherwise you're just gonna miss out on certain details entirely. Again, I feel like the difficulty level of most Spot the Difference games is mostly, like, self-imposed, because it really does depend on how good you are at noticing even the slightest differences in two different versions of the same scene. You need to have a really good eye for these kinds of things, otherwise you're just gonna gloss over some, some differences entirely you're gonna get completely stuck, like I did on one level, because I did actually take like 15 minutes to complete one of the levels in the first world. I even got an achievement because of how long it took me to beat that level, but yeah, it's just a neat little relaxing puzzle game, basically, because I mean, that's essentially what most Spot the Difference games are. Probably won't be everyone's cup of tea, but I like it for what it is. I'll try to complete the remainder of the worlds off screen, perhaps, but I am gonna leave this video here for now. I feel like this recording managed to go a lot better 
Uh, my laptop did not actually shut off randomly at any point. It didn't overheat or anything. So that's very good. I was able to save all of the footage for this second recording, even though I really wish I could have uploaded the first one, but these kinds of things happen sometimes, and there's not really anything you can do about him, because it's not like I could recover the footage anyway. Like, it was completely corrupted, and I had to remove it. I had to just delete it off my hard drive and just try again, but I feel like this attempt went a lot better. It was still like a semi block video because more than half of the levels that I showed off in this video I've never even seen before because up until that point I only played like maybe six or seven levels off screen and it wasn't even off screen technically because I was actually recording myself playing those levels but then my laptop decided you know what I'm actually gonna make your life miserable today so anyway hope you guys still enjoyed I really needed to play something nice and relaxing just to try and like de-stress myself because my god man this day has not been a good one for a multitude of reasons, but if you want to play this game, the link's in the description. I don't know if it's available on other platforms. It might be, but I don't, I don't know for sure. It's available on PC, that I know for a fact, and you can purchase this game on Steam if you want. It's not an expensive game. I think it's only like $8. All right, now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna try and get my internet back up and running now, which is also probably gonna be like an absolute nightmare and a half. Not looking forward to that at all, but I mean, if you guys are watching this video, then you probably already know what the outcome of that was. Anyway, thanks as always for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video I make. Later!